Hello everyone, welcome back to Smart Extension Services. If you're new here, I'm Lonis and here in Smart Extension Services, we normally provide the best livestock tips. Today we're going to discuss on black soldier fly farming and we'll focus more on how to feed the black soldier fly larvae. So if you haven't watched the two videos I posted about black soldier fly farming, I'll put them on the comment section. So get to appreciate them so that you understand the life cycle of black soldier fly and also the importance. So let's get started for today's topic. Black soldier fly larvae feeds on wide variety of organic decaying matter and this includes vegetable and fruit waste, grain waste and also animal manure and animal fight products. All these decaying matter I've mentioned into detail in vegetable we have the peels and the spoiled produce and also the ripened parts of the farm produce or the fruits. And in animal waste, we are talking about the pig, poultry, and also the cow dung. And animal byproducts, we are talking about the chicken, intestine, the fish, of cuts, and also the blood. And also blood, when given to the black soldier fly, they make them to grow very fast. And also in grain waste, we are talking about the maize bran, uh, wheat bran, rice bran, and also the breweries waste products that you get after brewing uh, any of the grains. All this material that we have mentioned before giving them to the black soldier fly, they have been sorted out uh, to remove the non-decaying materials because when they are being collected, they are normally collected mixed with other materials that are not digestible by the uh, black soldier fly. So we mix out or we sort all materials that are very acidic like the orange, orange peels and the lemons or this contains citric acid that tampers with the pH of that feed. We also sort out for the animal uh, waste or animal byproducts, the bones. The bones are not digestible by the black soldier fly. And any other material that is not digestible uh, by the black soldier fly before it's given to, to them is being sorted out and also, uh, and also being grinded. So after sorting out the material and make sure all the materials have been digestible now you can grind them into finer paste or into finer composition that can be easily digested by the by the black soldier fly so let us see how this material and be sorted out and also being grinded and also how are being fed to the black soldier fly yeah, Okay, Ikonasindimu. <laughs> <laughs> Kutoka ikiwa ndogo ilipeleka tafete kasumbua. Mm. Amezea. Mm. Nasema ukubwa. Oh, amezea tule tudogo tudogo. Unaosa. Mm. Unaona ile hoa ya yelo. Mm. Iyo hoa mm. iki, hata ikianza kuzaa iko hivyo hivyo yelo. Nidioneka si, kwa kwa. Sile ni moja, tafete kwa ina customer. Mm. Oje hii mostly na kwa gaya salad. <coughs> Mimi nimesha kuwa na, na hoa. Shina mm. moja natuwa yelo. Ngaichanganya mm. ngapeleka tafete. Yani litupo ya kwanza.
Mati, hizo zingine kuna zenye zifai kuweka hapo. Nyasi. Nyasi ina nini? Tuleta ndo ingine ama Lekia hawa wanafini watu wanafewa kazi Tuleta ni ndo ingine grinding this all material they are being served to the black soldier flies so you can see in the next video how it's being served to to the black soldier fly so during serving make sure that the feed temperature is about 25 to 30 degrees centigrade make sure that it's not that wet it's just mm, doesn't have a lot of water because if it has a lot of water the black soldier fly will avoid feeding it and also make sure that the depth of it is not that much because when you put a lot of feeds, it will make it very difficult for the black soldier fly to turn and also eat the material that you have given the black soldier fly. <laughs> Tatleta <laughs> Thank you.